Formula One returns to Istanbul this week for the first Turkish Grand Prix since 2011. You can now watch full 24-minute episodes of The Inside Line at our new home on unbeaten.com. Turkish metropolis Istanbul is one of the world's great cities, straddling the Bosphorus between Asia and Europe. Its ancient history, architecture and cuisine, all part of its endless fascination. Of course, for Formula One fans, the real thrill is about one hour from the stunning Topkapi Palace Museum at Istanbul Park, where the sport returns this weekend for the first time since 2011. Its 11th hour addition to the calendar, a dream come true for the fans, a positive story from the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Felipe Massa, now retired, is still the most successful in Istanbul, with his three straight wins between 2006 and 2008. Just four other drivers, three of whom are on the current grid, have won there. The event initially fell off the calendar after 2011 due to the promoter not being able to agree a hosting fee with former Supremo Bernie Ecclestone, with subsequent pushes to reinstate it, involving public and private cash, deals that never got off the ground. Until now, when F1 needed a venue with straightforward freight routes to the Middle East, with Turkey getting the nod over Spanish classic Jerez. A breath of fresh air for all, fans, drivers and team bosses alike. As we don't take any risk, uh, uh, we safely do anything, it's fantastic. And going back to places, uh, uh, or going back to places historic like Imola, or going to places which I've never been for it's, it's 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 exciting because it's, it's like going into a new adventure. Uh, and I think in this moment, it's very good also for the F1 uh, uh, fan. I think it will be great, especially um, if, if we can go overseas, you know, like to, to add these uh, not really new tracks because they've been part of Formula One at some point, but in the last few years we haven't uh, been there. The race will be significant, with Lewis Hamilton able to clinch his seventh world championship, drawing him level with Grand Prix GOAT Michael Schumacher, a titanic record. A race win would also make the Silver Arrows the most successful mark in Istanbul, again overtaking Ferrari, the pair on three as it stands. The 5.338 kilometer Istanbul Park has 14 turns, eight left and six right, for an expected top speed of 320 kilometers per hour. The lap record is still held by Colombian Juan Pablo Montoya in a V10 McLaren from 2005. There are two DRS activation zones, one on the back straight and one on the pit straight, with two detection zones on the road to turn nine and between turns 13 and 14. Thrilling and fast, F1's return to Istanbul will be a magic moment. It's time for the eighth Turkish Grand Prix. Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.